Welcome to your yin yoga flow. Today we are going to be working through hip opening postures that involve compression of the joints and allow stress to be purged from our bodies. In order to gain the full benefits of the yin postures, please be sure to do this flow when your muscles are cold. If you're already warmed up, the muscles and ligaments will be overstrained in these postures. So what we're doing is focusing on the compression of the joints rather than the extension of the muscles. Some of the postures will be a little intense, so if you want to grab a few pillows or a bolster to support you today, don't hesitate to do so. If you're ready to begin, grab your mat and we'll get started. All right, let's begin seated. Cross your legs comfortably and bring your hands to Anjali Mudra. Close your eyes. Bring the mind to your breath. And take this moment to set your own intention for our practice today. Beautiful. Now flutter the eyes open. And let's lie down with your back on the mat. Hug your knees into your chest. Inhale. And exhale. Come into happy baby pose. Ananda Balasana. Knees reaching towards the ground on either side of your body. Grab the ankles or heels or maybe peace fingers to your big toes. Whatever is comfortable for you. Feel free to close your eyes, really surrendering to this posture. With each inhale, release any muscles in your face, neck, and shoulders. And with each exhale, sinking the knees lower and lower. Bring the mind to the rising and falling of your chest, the inhale and the exhale. Release the stress, release the negative energy. This is a wonderful posture to not only open the hips, but to soothe the lower back and lower the heart rate. Relax the hips, pull the knees to the earth. Inhale and exhale. Gently bring the legs back to center, knees to chest. Inhale and exhale. Begin to rock yourself up to a seated position once more. Sitting up nice and tall, finding length in the spine. Now bring the bottoms of the feet together for Baddha Konasana bound angle pose or more frequently called butterfly pose. Let's stay here for a moment. Grab the toes so that they are pressed against each other. Shoulders sliding down the back. Gaze slightly up and let the knees fall towards the earth. No need to force them. Inhale. Lengthen the lumbar spine. Exhale. Release all the hip and thigh muscles. Great work. Take a nice inhale. 
and exhale let's come onto all fours and press up into an easy downward dog you can bend the knees and have the heels off the ground whatever you need now inhale bring the left leg up exhale knee to chest and now place the foot between the hands and then heel toe the left foot so that it ends up on the edge of the mat left hand on the inside of that leg you can stay here or you can lower the back knee untuck the toes and come down onto your forearms chest lowered left knee falling out to the side you can have your weight on the outside edge of the foot if it's within your practice today whatever you need in this lizard pose really relax into this posture allow the fascia of your left hip to be released allow your worries to be released allow your stress to be released let it go calm your mind in any of these postures today feel free to close your eyes allow yourself to be immersed into the pose focus on inhaling through the nose and exhaling with control just breathe great work inhale and let's slowly bring the chest up open the eyes if you haven't already tuck the back toes and press up onto the hands and send the left foot back into three-legged dog then bring the knee to your left elbow and place the shin on the ground for pigeon pose release the back toes inhale and exhale lower the chest and maybe even rest the head on the forearms allow your body to purge all the stress and tension that's been stored in the hips welcome that freeing feeling of the glute muscles feel the tightness diminishing with each breath let go of the stale obstructive energy and welcome productivity and contentment inhale and exhale let it go I'm gonna hold here for just another minute really try to breathe into this posture and relax as your hips compress wonderful one last inhale through the nose and exhale bring the chest up press up into downward dog inhale arch the lower back exhale send the heels into the earth all points of the palms rooting down into the ground relax your face 
Inhale, bring the right leg up. Exhale, step between the hands. Heel toe that foot to the outer edge of the mat and settle into your lizard pose. Inhale, look up. Exhale, chest lowers. Back toes released. Right knee falling out to the side. Gently ease yourself into this posture until you can almost fully relax. Take a nice big inhale through the nose and slowly exhale. You might even feel a nice extension of the left hip flexor here or perhaps a release in the lower back. Great job. Just a few more breaths here. Try to close the eyes and come back to your intention. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and last exhale, roll up, chest lifts, inhale, press up onto the hands and reach back into three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to elbow and shin drops to the mat, pigeon pose. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, lower the chest. Rest the forehead on the arms or a pillow if you have one. Bringing your mind back to your intention. Let it comfort you and aid you in sinking deeper and deeper into the stretch compressing that right hip. Allow the breath to be your guide. Inhale, send oxygen to the hip or lower back. Exhale, release the chest further down. Letting go of any thoughts that may arise letting go of anything you might be worrying about or stressing over. Just be here in this present moment. Focus on your body, living and breathing, full of energy, full of light. Great work. Now gently come back up, open the eyes if you haven't already. Chest lifts, press into the hands and send the hips up into downward dog. Gaze towards the toes, point the triceps towards the mat. Lengthen the neck, inhale, bring the gaze front. Exhale, hopper step into a seated position on the mat. Now face the side of your mat, doesn't matter which way, and open the legs into Samakonasana, center splits pose. Flex the feet and try to have the knees and toes facing the ceiling. Inhale, and on your exhalation, bring the chest towards the earth. If you have a pillow or a bolster, feel free to rest on those or if you can bring yourself all the way to the ground, 
even just as far as you can go, resting in this posture. Close your eyes. Sama Konasana helps refresh the Muladhara Chakra, the root chakra. When your root chakra is stimulated, your prana or breath can flow easily throughout your entire being. It also grounds you, aiding you in finding stability and peace in your life. Breathe here. Relax into the earth. Ground yourself. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now slowly begin to open the eyes. Inhale and exhale. Push your chest up and face the front of the mat once more. Inhale, arms reach forward. Exhale, lower yourself onto the mat. Inhale, bend the left knee and cross it over the right leg. If it's within your practice to hook the foot around the leg as well for an eagle leg variation, go ahead and do so. Exhale, and let the left legs fall to the right side and gaze to the left. Bring the right hand to the left knee. Left arm reaching out along the ground. And left shoulder pressing into the mat. In this twisted root pose, allow your body to surrender. Allow your mind to surrender giving in to the present moment. Close your eyes. Feel the compression of your hips. Feel the release of the lumbar spine, maybe even of your sciatica. Beautiful work. Inhale and flutter the eyes open. Exhale, use your abdominals to come back to center. Now cross the right leg over the left, and you can interlock that foot too if you like, and let the legs fall to the left side. Head faces to the right. Left palm resting on the right knee. Be sure your right shoulder stays grounded on the mat. Close your eyes. Send love and oxygen to parts of your body where you may be feeling tension or tightness. Relax your neck, relax your face. Welcome positive energy into your being. You are exactly where you need to be. Let go of all things no longer serving you. Let go of what has happened and what may happen. You are here and now. You are filled with light and possibilities. Inhale, gently open the eyes and exhale, bring the legs back to center. Carefully lower them to the mat 
extend it along the ground. Inhale, face the palms up to the sky and close your eyes for Shavasana. Allow your body to be rejuvenated in this posture. Soak up all the wonderful benefits of the yin poses of the practice today. Yin yoga helps increase the circulation of the body. When we hold yin poses for extended periods of time, we compress the joints. And when you release from the pose, blood, oxygen, and nutrients flood to that area as a result. Yin represents the passive, lunar side of our beings. It grounds us, keeps us stable, keeps us anchored. Just take this time to soak up all that you have accomplished in this practice today. Find contentment and peace. Beautiful, gently open the eyes and roll over to one side. Push yourself up into a seated position, legs crossed. Bring the palms to Anjali Mudra. Thank your body for allowing you to participate in this practice today. Bow down to your heart. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. I hope you enjoyed and please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to help mermaid yoga grow. Have a wonderful rest of the day. We hope to see you again soon.